Greetings, one and all. Welcome back to the RP Geeks. I'm the Sonic Geek. Here with me again is GameWiz. It's time to learn about Howie Mandel. Yep, and it's time for more Persona 5 Royal. Let's go. I believe he's a politician. Remember Hooray for cuts in the episode the fourth. Too loud. For mm -hmm. real? It's certainly possible that for real. Yeah, we got the we got the for real out of the way. <laughs> Do you have some kind of evidence? Nothing material. However, there are various conditions which align with that possibility. First, he would profit from damage done to the current administration by the psychotic breakdowns. He's maintained a negative stance toward the Phantom Thieves and has gained tremendous popularity. On top of that, he'll most likely become the next Prime Minister if he wins this upcoming election. No! Did he set us up with that election in mind? If he is behind all this, that would be in stark opposition to his honest public image. So his current position and popularity is just him benefiting from the mental collapses. We'll make him have a change of heart, no matter what it takes. Mom. <sighs> Shido, huh? What is the matter? I had a feeling he was wrapped up in all this, just based on the connections I had from my previous job. You know, I'm curious, what exactly was his previous job? Something in the government, that's for sure. Yep. I had a hunch he was involved. But there wasn't anything I don't think they ever touch on that. Nope. Why didn't you say that sooner? You guys would have definitely gone after him if I had. He would have just killed all of you, no doubt. That's what he usually does to people who get in his way. Originally, I was looking into the mental shutdown cases. It was then that I accidentally stumbled upon government research regarding the psychotic breakdowns. So, I tracked down the whereabouts of that research data and met with the associated parties. Boss was one of those parties. I would never have imagined all of this was connected. The mental shutdowns, psychotic breakdowns, Shido, and even the Phantom Thieves' actions. Way back when. Shido kept saying he was going to be Prime Minister one day. Nobody believed him, though. What's going to happen to this country if Shido becomes Prime Minister? What about the world? The issue is simpler than that. This is nothing more than yet another selfish adult trying to impose his will on the public. <laughs> hey, Yusuke, that's basically what it boils down to. Yeah, we'll do it like always. Then let's check the nav. Masayoshi Shido, the guy running for prime minister. Got a hit! Well, duh. It ain't a surprise he has one. <laughs> well, duh. Where would the location be? What kind of things go through a politician's head? I always think of dirty money and shady actions. <laughs> what does he do? Uh, and where? We don't got a clue about this guy's life. His palace must be somewhere that politicians frequent. Any ideas? The Diet Building. We got a hit! How arrogant must he be to see himself as the ruler of the Diet Building? I know, right? Our next target's the big shot mm -hmm. politician Masayo Shishido. We're gonna do this, right? But we still don't know what he we thinks have. of the Diet Building as. Well, they don't. We do. It? Of course. Mm -hmm. He will be a worthy opponent. Let's win this together. Time for revenge. Then it's unanimous. All we got to do now is figure out what he thinks that diet building place is. So that's the app that allowed me to enter the metaverse. An old fart like me can't wrap his head around all this stuff. <laughs> we'll have to deal with this before election day, December 18th. That means we need it done by the 17th. It's best we hurry before they discover there's no body in the morgue. Should we start tomorrow then? We can meet at the diet building after school. That reminds me, what are you gonna do about school? You can't show up if you're supposed to be dead. Miss Kawakami said he went back home for family reasons. That's what I told the school. Don't let him find out you're alive then, all right? This whole thing would be for nothing. What do you mean? This operation had another purpose outside of escaping Akechi's clutches. 
Shido tried to place all the blame on the Phantom Thieves and deceive the public at the same time. He has ruined countless lives, and even made Goro Akechi, a student, assist him with assassinations. A mere change of heart is too lenient a sentence for such an abominable criminal. We'll be making use of the police statement that the leader of the Phantom Thieves committed suicide. Our leader, who is presumed dead, will come out of hiding to deliver a grand statement. He'll say he has escaped prison, not committed suicide, and was in fact almost killed by a criminal. <laughs> Everyone's gonna flip. You guys thought through all this stuff too? Yep. We're intellectuals, you know. <laughs> That's why you needed such a daring trick as getting- it, It's amazing to hear that from Ryuji. <laughs> it is. What frightening teenagers. But the true battle has only just begun. We won the first round, but we must stay on our toes. Yeah, this ain't the time to be celebrating. These people tried to trap and kill us. There is no end to their inhuman, conniving nature. We will need to be prepared for whatever may come our way. Meanwhile, we made it this far. It's already been two and a half years since we met. Back then, you were in the media's attention as a young politician who could rise up against bureaucracy. Because of that, those who wanted to preemptively deal with problems tried to tie you up in scandal. To think I would fall for the ruse schemed by those decrepit fools in power. I recall that's when you came to me. You promoted yourself saying you had special powers. If quote unquote research on cognition <laughs> I would have thought you insane I made those troublesome opponents psychotic and erased any trace of that scandal who'd think that tampering with a person's heart would trigger a psychotic lapse or mental shutdown and when someone like that said he'd support me I had suspected there'd be an ulterior motive it's because I sympathized with your aspiring ideology I believe uh, that your ideals needed to be changed for the uh, uh, Well, my faith in you was precisely why I pulled the plug on that research. I only need you using that power. It'd be troublesome if someone else uncovered how it works. <laughs> About that. That researcher. She oh dear. If she just complied. Any suspicions should be snubbed out. Even the smallest doubt must be severed at the root. After all, we had an active public prosecutor's office director on our side until recently. Astounding, isn't it? To think the director himself often forged evidence to secure his promotion. He was quite surprised when you confronted him about it. He didn't know who leaked that information. Well, I got that out of his shadow, so technically speaking, he did it himself. This country's affairs have become stagnant. The political world is filled with old men who only act to preserve their own vested interests. The general public has forsaken such political affairs and don't even bother. Only ruin awaits us. I must agree. There's no need to be ruined along with such incompetent fools. I will lead this country to its revival. Those who get in the way must be eliminated at times. That's the correct way to use the metaverse. Still, it would stand out if there were continuous deaths and scandals with your political rivals, which is why I made them suspects. Prosecute the targets that I turn psychotic, and solve them as cases unrelated to you. It's the and perfect thus, crime. The charismatic ace detective was born. Almost too perfect. Thanks to your efforts. <laughs> My clean image remains untarnished, and I've monopolized public opinion. <laughs> Once I gained public sentiment, collaborators from all sectors began approaching me on their own. The police were no exception. Boy, I sure do love explaining my evil plan out loud. Them in check was easy. Damn, I'm glad there's a JPEG behind me, not an actual window. <laughs> <laughs> blame on them when you told me that i knew then that you were the better man their popularity was a bit beyond my expectations but flipping it made the negative press stronger after that all i had to do was openly berate them 
I've been gaining more supporters since. The current administration is dead with ongoing scandals. Never mind the fact that they're my doing. Even the government parties have begun splitting up, and they're dissolving just as planned. <laughs> All according to Keikaku. The time has finally come. Just a little more, and I will take the seat of Prime Minister. However, inauguration isn't my goal. That's when everything truly begins. I'll make this country rich for the sake of its selfish and ignorant masses who can only rely on others. In other words, you're creating a powerful country that can compete with the world. The public resonates with my ideals and follows me. And for that, some sacrifices can't be avoided. Quote unquote. That is my duty. <laughs> Your assistance has been very influential in making my plans proceed smoothly. When I become Prime Minister, I'll grant whatever wish you want. With this most recent case, my name has become known across the country. Perhaps even the world. Surely my story will be passed down as a hero who won against monsters that could control people's hearts. I believe I'll lay low and devote myself to my studies. I suppose with your age, you wouldn't come up with debauched desires. I am thinking about the future, though. Well, uh, how do I put this? It's gonna get real busy before you start tomorrow, right? Get some rest. Well, then. We can talk Remember to Futaba. I hijacked your phone during the school trip? That kind of came in handy. How so? Well, remember how I put that wiretap app in Akechi's phone? Basically, that let me see GPS info for two phones, yours and his. I'd be able to tell the precise moment Sai Nijima, who had your phone, ran into Akechi. That's when I saw my chance and beep, sent the signal to activate the metaverse navigator. But there was a chance they'd just Genius. Pass each other without saying a single word. <laughs> That's why we needed you to tell Sai Nijima to show the phone to Akechi. This plan still surprises me, no matter how many times I hear it. Still, I couldn't just directly hack into the Metaverse NAV. It's a mysterious app, after all. But you know how it has that bookmark function? All you have to do is push the button. Making the phone think he was pushing that button was totally doable. <laughs> Pretty good, huh? And, and more. It like it, but everyone else was risking their lives, too. Though, there's no doubt you were the most at risk. I mean, you actually got arrested. But it seems like all the drugs and stuff made you forget the details of the plan. Want me to explain how it all went down? It might take a bit. They fully voiced this whole thing. Well, since the rest of us huh. were captured, we had to act. We had to pretend we never wanted you to get arrested. Pretend the suicide news was a real shock. Basically, we had to act like we didn't know anything, 24-7. The enemy knows who we are, so we couldn't let our guard down even once while you were gone. If they had people watching us and realized what our plan was, they would have killed you immediately. Want to hear more? Sure, why not? Another tough part was figuring out how to get Sai Nijima and Akechi back from the metaverse. In order to return to reality, you have to go back to the point where you came into the metaverse. So, Sai and Akechi had to go through where the nav was activated, as in, the hall where they met. Akechi would just come back the same way after the assassination. The real issue was Sai Nijima. We needed to stop her for a moment before she headed back toward the interrogation room. But nothing can be sent to a phone inside a palace. So, I had to program the messages in beforehand. In doing so, I made it seem like the messages were coming at that exact moment in time. That part was kinda last minute, so I had to pull an all-nighter trying to get it set up. I'm really on a roll here. Wanna hear some more? God damn, girl! How much info do you have? A lot. Problematic thing was. She's just gonna go through the whole damn thing. That was really tough. And then at the end of it, and that's how we end up here. Even if we could do that, it would ruin our plan. The one we had to tie up was Sai Nijima's cognitive Akechi. This part's really complicated. I know you're tired. Are you sure you want to hear all of this now? Why stop now? Well. We needed to lure Akechi into Sai Nijima's palace and have him kill the cognitive version. 
But Akechi would have entered the palace immediately after meeting Sai Nijima in the hallway, right? Because of that, there was a pretty decent chance he'd run into the cognitive Akechi. And if that happened, Akechi would have totally realized we'd lured him into the palace. Nobody actually even thought of this possibility until the night before the assassination. Makoto realized in the middle of the night, and it was a huge mess trying to figure out what to do. In the end, we chose to sneak into the metaverse while the plan was happening to tie up the cognition. Because you told Sai to show him the phone, we expected her to chat with him for at least a bit. So, we had a few minutes to strike after the cognitive Akechi showed up, but before the nav activated. It was Operation Tie Him Up! Though it wasn't really much of an operation in the end. You can tell by the name. Nijima didn't know his true nature, so the one that appeared was an ordinary kid. Thank God. It was pretty simple surrounding him, knocking him out, and tossing him on another floor. No lie, I kind of want to see size cognitive Akechi. Watching Makoto's skill was super amazing. It probably would have looked the same. Knuckles as her weapon. Just tied up and knocked out. <laughs> She does use knuckles as her weapon. What I'm trying to say is, mm -hmm. she knocked him right Everyone the fuck out. <sighs> I just can't help but rant when I'm talking about stuff that interests me. Sorry about that. Just focus on resting up. You don't have to worry about anything else. And seriously, well done. And that's that for that. Um. Clutch back safe and sound. But even that's putting it too lightly. You had it rough in there, didn't you? Only a little. Ketchy was after you all along. I knew it was risky, but we had no choice but to depend on him. But thanks to your tenacity, you were able to fool him. It's payback time. Let's make him regret underestimating the Phantom Thieves. And what about you? Oh, by the way, the police report on your death isn't going to show up at your school. No need to worry. Seems Prosecutor Nijima worked out some kind of deal with the higher-ups or something. I mean, they haven't even said anything to me. They haven't even... They haven't even said anything to me, even. Are you sure you're sober? I mean, read it. That's exactly what it says. They haven't even said anything to me, even. You did kind of stumble. A little bit. Then again, that's kind of normal for me at this point. As long as you stay quiet, you'll be fine. And I guess if they reported your death now, they'd basically be saying you were a phantom thief. They can't really go announcing what the Phantom Thieves are, so I'm sure they'll avoid that. Okay, because I have the opportunity. Saving right the fuck now. 90 hours we've been at this. God damn. I mean, it's a long ass game. Guess he won't be going to school for a while. Don't worry about it. This will be a breeze compared to what we've had to face so far. And we'll have all the time to come up with the plans together. To be perfectly honest, I don't really care what happens to Shido, one way or the other. But when I consider the fact that he's your enemy, I naturally think he's my enemy as well. I'm going to stay- Andros's enemy is my enemy! Well then, we should- Well, you know, see. you know the old saying, keep your friends close and your enemy's toaster. You know, <laughs> said before. When you were in a pinch in the palace, she picked up Which means, Howie, I need your toaster. <laughs> was that... It was Kasumi. So it was Yoshizawa. Then we'd better let her know you're safe now. And I'll even lend you a hand with that. The next day. I'm surprised that number still isn't going down. You'd think. There's no point in even having an election. Shido's gonna win. Of course, he's the only reliable politician there is. Plus, the current government has been getting wrapped up in scandal after scandal. Even more importantly, there's just an aura about him. 
Like he can fix whatever problems we have. Honestly, it doesn't really matter to me who does it. I just want to see our society back on track. Especially after it turned out those phantom thieves were nothing more than scum in the end. I'll show you. <laughs> And now the text from our confidants. Mm hmm. Your bad teacher. That's mean. Take care of yourself. You get their shit together. Like monkeys in a zoo. Almost time. You know, a lot of that uh, Phantom Thieves talk, uh, that, that guy should have a Gatling gun, but with chalk. <laughs> <laughs> and there's Mishima. Everything's okay, buddy. Pants is a real mess right now, I bet. Hey. Be your curry and take it easy. Okay. Tried all sorts of stuff and no luck so far. It's hard to understand the thought process of a criminal mastermind like him. Been behind all. Doesn't that mean all the weird accidents from these past few years were his fault? Like that subway accident back in April. And that you mention it, that accident lost the Minister of Transport his job. Does he not care at all about innocent lives? Still tons of victims from that in the hospital, even now. Freaking Howie yep. thinks he's good. <laughs> thinks he's so much better than us. With his bald head and his shades. <laughs> and his deal or no deal host. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's head to the diet building. And then he, 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 was, he was one of the uh, panelists on uh, America's Got Talent. Oh, was he? I think he was. Yeah. I don't usually watch those shows. You're going out. Going out? That's the plan. You gotta be kidding me. You realize what you're done for if you get caught, right? I mean, he's got a point. That's why we have the hood up. <laughs> the stunts you pull sometimes. I know, right? Stay out too late. Nope. Okay, she isn't here. Let's Thank begin God. at once. Police cars are making rounds, so we can't stay here too long. We already have Masayo Shishido and Diet Building. All we need is what he thinks of this place. Maybe Mount Fuji, since it's the highest place in the country? Logic. Eh. What about a mansion? I mean, do you f to be fair, it's not a bad guess. Everyone as mm -hmm. minister. Perhaps a school? What about an arena like the Colosseum? Imperial been Palace? Conditions have not been met. Nope. It's no good. It's no use. Entry by now. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> hey, you think he's guarding his whole palace with a barrier? Shido stole the cognitive science research, right? Well, maybe it had some special move written in it. Is that even possible? Who knows? I've got no idea. There was nothing like that in the notes I saw. Anyways, what kind of person is Shido? I can't figure him out. I did some light research on him last night, but I couldn't get a grasp on the type of man he is. Meanwhile, in the corner. That man over there is probably a legislator, right? 
I'll try asking him. Excuse oh. me. I'm a member of the newspaper club at my high school. May I speak with you for a moment? Sure. What kind of person is Representative Shido? What's he think about the national diet? His stance is dedication for country. It's how he's garnered everyone's trust. He's an admirable man of action with a first-class determination. I'd say he's a model politician. I believe that he'll help create a wonderful future in which young adults like you can live in ease. That's a very well, politically correct response. Yeah, answer. It makes sense he wouldn't tell teenagers anything unnecessary. <laughs> Look over there. He's on a walkie-talkie. Hold on. Is it about us? There's a thing. Here it is. We should leave at once. One, neither one, neither. We got a group of suspicious teenagers and a cat. Over. Meet at LeBlanc, eh? We should all think about this tonight. God damn it. <laughs> Thank Again? you, voice mod. <laughs> the criminals calling themselves the Phantom Thieves are no more. However... I believe that this country's citizens are still living their days in anxiety. These scandals only increase our distrust of the current government. As a citizen myself, I am enraged. Look who's talking. What does it mean to be a politician with responsibility? Working toward personal gain without consideration of the country is outrageous. <sighs> the election's public notification is tomorrow. No matter where I go, people are cheering for Shido. Everyone's being deceived so easily. They all sound so goddamn fake. Can't find much outside of his title and education. He's currently 53 years old and has gone from being a metropolitan assemblyman to a representative. Though he is a cabinet minister, he's split from the ruling party to form the United Future Party. Especially appointed to the position at his current title. Apparently, he also won a contest for people, for who people would most like to have as their boss. Oh no! <laughs> well, we could find out the meaning behind Cheeto's words. In order to save this country that has been tainted by villains, social reform is essential. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. With all the love for Shido. Yet no one knows the truth about him, but it still creeps me out. Uh, and he can't go out. Nope. Hey, hey. We already have Max Kindness. Oh. But still, though, it's nice to take care of that plant. Yep. Yes. Uh, you know what? Let's use up some of this. Some of these materials we have. Okay. I completely forgot that you can also still check shady commodities. Yep. Coming aroma. Treasure trap. Yeah. Make a few of these. Make a bunch of these. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> Yay, got an extra. Yes. Yeah. Nice. Yay, we're maxed on everything. <laughs> Who way? Well then. Chihaya. Everything is awesome. Everything is great. Just looking forward to getting into that seventh palace. Yep. 
That's eh, gonna be a while, though. Well, kind of. It'll be a bit yet before we do it for real. Mm-hmm. Also, Takemi. Just contact oh, me as soon as you see I'm still alive. Stop making me worried. Glad you're okay. Just got nervous when I saw the news. Be at the clinic if you need any medicine. It's nothing but the Phantom Thieves on TV. Are you all supposed to be gathering here today? Make sure you finish eating before everyone shows up. Hmm. wonder if anybody's figured out the keyword. We have. In fact, we knew it a long time ago. <laughs> Last one. Diamond mine. No good. How many do we miss? Perhaps he truly does have a barrier up. Right? That's not something to be excited about. You know all the way up to diet building, too. So you enter keywords into the Metaverse Navigator. Boss, can you turn the TV on? Shido might be on it. Sure thing. Goro Akechi. Him and his stupid composers. So, Akechi-san. <laughs> Is it true you withdrew yourself from the media as part of your plan to capture the Phantom Thieves? I truly apologize for causing such a stir. Honestly, it required a lot of courage to openly oppose them when their popularity was at its peak. I mean, people often lashed out at me online and whatnot. Then was it also your plan when you said they weren't at fault after their popularity declined? That was to catch them off guard. I could say I applied my profiling knowledge. Once they lost public support, someone they thought was their greatest enemy lent a hand. That's the same strategy used in romance, wouldn't you agree? Maybe from the 90s. Why is he being treated as an agent mm -hmm. of justice? It's not just on TV or online. Newspapers, magazines. I see his face everywhere. On the other hand, no one's hoping for a comeback on the fan site. Like, at all. The Phantom Thieves are evil. Shido and Akechi are just. It should be the other way around. They're manipulating information using the media. No shit. Leaving Akechi aside, we'll get back at him later. Our main issue is Shido. Were there any instances before when you didn't know the palace keywords? A couple. Well, there was the time with Futaba. We didn't know anything about her, so all we could do was make conjectures. Then why don't we just go directly and see Shido? That's impossible. He's surrounded by bodyguards and followers all the time. There's no way high school students can get an appointment with him either. <clears throat> well, we do have an adult with us. He just look at Sai. No, that's still impossible. Besides, <clears throat> it's too dangerous a method. Well, this is a problem. And then the ruckus outside. To everyone gathered before Young and Jaya Station. Isn't that an election? I can hear the sounds of Shido. Hey, me too. Oh, right. The candidates are currently campaigning. It's like, wait a minute. I apologize for the commotion. I am Masayoshi Shido. Wait, did he just say Shido? Yeah, he did! It's like that voice! Sounds like I heard the- sounds like the same voice I heard back then. Mm -hmm. Man, talk about being lucky! <laughs> we can go check him out without an appointment now! I mean, he's got a point. Oh, you goddamn right! Ryuji ran off toward the station. This way. Hurry. By the way, did something happen? You didn't seem well a moment ago. It's the end of that conversation. To rebuild this crumbling nation. Our government is littered with scandals. And criminals have taken a strong foothold in our society. Such a disgraceful past must be discarded. We must set sail into a new future of dreams and hope. Set sail. Hmm. Carry the burden of the next generation can be proud of their country. 
Oh, look, a kitty. Snowball? <laughs> God. It's been so long since that. Mm-hmm. You know, it kind of reminds me, they only ever used that mechanic, like, once that I've seen. Yep. That's a shame. It was a great idea, too. for a sec. He's a busy man. The hell? Ain't he supposed to hear a citizen's comments? That's enough, Brad. You're that asshole we met at the hotel before, at the elevators. Oh, uh, I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. So you can butt in front of other people, other people if you're, you're in a hurry? hurry? What are you talking about? That moron. Come on, stop. When what? Meanwhile, Shido. J hold on. Hey, kid, Meanwhile, Shido just hears. You know what happens when you cross me. <laughs> that voice. It seems the customer base has changed since I was here last. Have they started a daycare? They hate a show. Get lost, kid. Damn brat! I'll sue. No mistake, he's the same man as the one from before. What are you looking at? What are you looking at? Is filled with clueless children. I worry for Japan's future. Let them go. My next appointment is coming up. <sighs> what a piece of shit. So what do you think after seeing him in person? He's the one who accused me. Wait. He's the jerk you told us about before? The same guy? For real? Seriously? <laughs> For real? Sure. Hey! Oh, aren't you? <laughs> Shido's the one who ruined your life. Well, how Shit. about that? I don't believe it. It all comes for full circle. Let's get going, okay? Alright. Back to LeBlanc. Before we go any further, thank you guys so much for joining us. If you like this video, leave a like and a comment. If you want to see more, hit subscribe and the bell, and we will see you guys next time. Goodbye.